is so much to see in this thrift store. It's quite large and there's stuff everywhere. Hello and welcome back. Today we are at Mission Thrift Store and we are going to go in and see if we can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop. And like I said in my last video, I'm going to be a little bit more picky with the items that I choose. So I will probably put things in my cart, but before I check out, I will be re-evaluating my cart and I only want to take the best of the best. So let's go in and see what we can find. All right, we're going to start off with this shelf because there's usually some vintage items here. There's a bunch of Blue Mountain pottery. They are souvenir pieces. Some more pottery pieces. That one's got a little bit of a crack. Lots of crazing on that one. It's a nice little piece, Earth and Fire. 550. Okay, we'll think about that one. I do need to grab a cart. Cute little trinket dish with a B on it. There's a Cloisonne piece. It is nine fifty. It's really nice. I do see a little bit of wear on it though. Some vintage napkin rings in the original box. Those are pretty fun. There's two sets of them here for $5 each. I think we will put those in the cart. Pretty color. This would have had a lid, I believe. Oh, here is a nice piece. This is, looks like it is possibly Empoli. I want $17 for it. Nice olive green. I really like the lid on it. Not sure if I want to pay $17 for it though. But you know what? I'm going to put it in my cart and we will see. Here is an Anchor Hawking Lido Crinkle pitcher. It's got a little bit of chipping on it. These are quite large and heavy, and I already have a green one. These kind of look like Delve. I do not know. I think they may be just made in China. This is where they keep a lot of the a little bit more fancy items like the glass and collectibles. Only $22 for that art glass piece. That's a pretty reasonable price, I think. I'm not sure who makes it. This is a really pretty orange one. There is a 
art glass. Looks like a tree. Looks like possibly a Murano. And those are really pretty. Those salt and pepper shakers there. Seven dollars. There's a German vase and a decoupage duck. Some paint by number horse pictures. That piece is beautiful, but they want 46 for it. It's a little bit too much for me. Look at these glasses with the fish on them. Very cool. Six dollars each. Some salt and pepper shakers. There's a couple things in here that I may consider purchasing. This is a German pitcher or vase, I mean. I really like the blue on it. Oh, there's some beautiful needle points here. What do they want for these? $9.50. That looks like it has got quite a bit of age. I'm gonna grab that. And this one was done in 1989, I think. 950 for this one. It's a little bit warped be stretched out but because it is professionally framed I really don't want to deal with that one so I'm gonna leave this one lots of beautiful filigree pieces in the case here they're all pretty much retail I believe I don't know for sure but wow look at that bracelet it's beautiful spotted some vintage Barbies and I had to show this one with her fancy blue outfit <laughs> and this one she's got a very 1980s dress on and look at Ken's rockabilly outfit there <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like Elvis dishware. These are really fun. Taste Cellar Sigma made in Japan. These would have had some cups with them. You could see the indent in there where a cup would have sat. Really fun plates. set. It's made in China. Looks like 1980s. This one as well. It's an 80s, 90s vibe there. Right, I am over in the textiles. Scanning. A 
lots of pretty tablecloths. Ten dollars for that one. Four ninety-nine. That's pretty. Oh, I really like the pansies. What is this one? Four ninety-nine. Pansies are really pretty. I'm going to make sure that there is no rips or holes or stains before I buy it though for $4.99. It's really pretty. Okay, so we're going to grab that one. There's some more pansies here. $4.99 for this one as well. That's very pretty. Birds. Wednesday. Tuesday. Monday. Sunday, Friday, is that all the days? <laughs> Are all the days here? I didn't see Saturday. All right, beautiful little velvet vintage throw pillow for $3.99. We're going to pick that up. And what do I spot but a round vintage pillow, $7.50, but I'm going to pick it up anyways. It's not a pin tuck, but it is beautiful burgundy, a satin material, so we'll grab that. I also found this tapestry pillow for $0.99. Cents. Looks like it's in really nice condition. So we'll grab that for 99 cents. I'm gonna have a look through the towels, see if there's any vintage towels. I just spotted this vintage tea towel. I don't see a price on it though. So I'm gonna put it in my cart and it shouldn't be too much, I don't think. <laughs> That's a vintage towel. I do prefer the ones with the fringe on it, like this one. This is a cannon towel. There's no price on it either. We'll see how much they want. Oh wait, no, it's a dollar ninety-nine. So I'm gonna grab that one. All right, have a look through the candle holders and vases. Party light. Interesting tray. $14.99. These are Glow Hill. They are made in Canada. $5 for this one. It's got a little rack with it, which I've never seen before. This is Cherry Bake Light. I don't pick these up too often. I see them quite often, but... Oh, that's a corning ware. It doesn't go with it. I would have considered picking this up, but that rack doesn't go with it. Mm. This 
This is actually vintage. Just one though, I feel like it probably would have had graduated sizes with it. This is a black metal. It's made in Austria. Is it Austria? It's $3. It's got an interesting look. Put a pillar candle on there. I'll grab it for $3. Lots of knives. All kinds of utensils. Well, I'm going to have a look through here. If I find anything, I will let you know. Well, I didn't find anything in the kitchen utensils, but I did spot these pair of votive or taper candle holders, 250 each. Got a really unique shape and design. They aren't marked or anything, but I'm gonna pick them up for $2.50 each. just spotted this smiley mug and it looks like it's got some age to it. It does have a skew but definitely looks like it's got some age. So I do believe it is vintage. So I think I'm going to pick this up. There is no price on it so I'm not sure what they're going to give it to me for. But we will grab this. So I just grabbed these two vintage dishes. They've got the rubber flowers inside. They're $3.99 each. There's an orange one and a pink one. Super tacky, but I love this tacky rubber 1950s, 60s decor. So I'm going to grab these two for $3.99 each. There's some beautiful needlepoint roses. There's $7 each. They're a nice size, not too large. They wouldn't be too bad to ship. I don't know. Do I need any more needlepoints? Do I need any more pictures? <laughs> I don't know, I think I do. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these for $7 each. And I'm not seeing any other art here, I don't think. Set those down. What's behind here? Step print. Here's some chalkware or wall plaque. I think we'll leave that one. I think that's all the wall decor that I see. So much to see in this thrift store. It's quite large and there's stuff everywhere. So these are $2 and $1 each. Why is this one only $1? Is there something wrong with it? Not sure, and I think I'm gonna grab these vases. So I just found some vintage pantyhose, and look at the graphics on this box. They're 50 cents each. These look like they're from about the 1970s. There's five pairs, it says. I don't know if there's actually five pairs in there. They are one dollar. Then there's a Wonder Bra. These look like 1980s, made in Canada. There's another Wonder Bra. <laughs> and that looks like the, all the vintage pantyhose. So I'm gonna grab these. 
I actually have a few pairs of vintage pantyhose. So we will grab these ones. So much for me being picky, I am filling up my cart. All right, so my total in there was $180. That is the most I've spent in a thrift store in a really long time. But I got two big boxes full of really great vintage items. I also got this shelf, this wicker shelf for $10 and it goes on the wall. So I'm really excited to go through everything that I got and show you everything in my haul coming up on Sunday. So. Stay tuned for that. And now I am going to go and get this rat's nest hair done. I can't wait. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, I just got my hair cut and holy smokes, it is so short. <laughs> it feels so short compared to what I'm used to, but it feels really good. It's very light and it'll be a lot easier to take care of. So, yay. <laughs>